going on guys snake eyes here playing some more dark souls 2 and today we're going to be doing a boss weapon showcase and the boss weapon we're going to be showcasing today is the giant stone axe now if you don't know how to get the giant stone axe all you have to do is beat the last giant boss and trade the soul of that giant to strayed and he's located in the lost bastille and that's pretty much all there is to it pretty simple and uh, now we're going to get into the details about this weapon okay so let's go ahead and get into the base damage of this weapon um, it's nothing too impressive at 160 it's really like I said not that great um, I'll get into the whole final thoughts about this thing but what I've been forgetting a lot lately and I need to remind myself of that is that I need to start telling you guys the weight of this thing um, and the reason I'm glad I remembered for this one is because this is actually weighing 25 pounds as you can see my character what he has equipped on right now is 50 pounds so that means this one weapon is taking up half of his entire set um, it's really really heavy the base damage is um, pretty low and uh, all around the scaling isn't that great it requires 45 strength to wield or uh, let me see 23 strength if you're gonna be wielding it with two hands um, 8 dexterity which isn't that bad but still 45 strength way too much the scaling on it is also not that great coming in at D and uh, yes the scaling does improve when you upgrade this weapon but um, that's not really recommended and I'll get into that a little later um, right now we're pretty much gonna go ahead and go into the move set I'm gonna be doing the two-handed move set only because I don't have 45 strength um, I don't think I'll ever have 45 strength so we're just gonna do the two-handed um, it's pretty standard, pretty simple with uh, a couple of side swipes. The uh, attacks are slow, but that's to be expected because it's a pretty heavy weapon. Um, I do like the slamming attacks as far as the strong attacks. Uh, that's just a personal preference. That's always been the uh, the favorite for me. Uh, the running attack is the same thing. You just get a little bit more range, nothing too much. The shield bash is a standard shield bash. He uses the handle of the weapon, and the jumping attack is the same. Uh, the same jumping attack. As soon as I can do it, that all the weapons have. Um, again, it's still pretty crazy. Still, um, not crazy. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Um, it's still pretty standard. Uh, there's nothing really too much to it. The I guess my final thoughts on this weapon is it's not practical at all. Um, as your first playthrough I do recommend getting it but the reason I say that is because personally I am a weapons collector I really like collecting a lot of unique weapons um, and fooling around with them but this weapon is just a one-time deal basically what I would be doing is trading it this playthrough and then on my next playthroughs pretty much using the soul just to get a couple extra souls and um, that's what I recommend for you guys I recommend just getting this weapon just so you can have it and add it to um, your whole uh, armory or whatever you want to call it and um, after that pretty much use the soul that you're gonna get in the next playthroughs uh, on whatever you want really um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video uh, leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and until next time take care